As I've made peace with the establishment, I need to make peace with the ideological way the establishment has changed and is changing. It doesn't mean I have to comply with it. How I think and live is nobody's business. It just means I have to make peace with it. There's really nothing I can do about it. Sure, talking about it can make me feel better, but it's not going to change anything. When it comes to things that affect how I live and what I like to do, I need to make peace with medium to larger cities and just accept that they're not going to be safe to go to anymore. At least when it comes to parts of those cities that count. And no politician is going to do anything to significantly change that. I need to accept that a number of nature areas in this region I live are not really safe to go to anymore, and that's not going to change either. I need to accept that there's really no point in having nostalgic feelings about much of anything, especially entertainment, because it will all be reimagined by the ideological way that the establishment has changed and is changing. I don't need to succumb to the programming, but I need to accept that it's not going anywhere. For the most part, the new establishment will try to prop me up as a gay man, but it may indeed hurt my demographic via the backlash, and I need to make peace with all of it. What's the point in being angry about it? I can see what's happening and I can just sit back and watch. Sure, talking about it can get more people to see what's going on, and I'll continue to do that. But I really don't think it's going to change much of anything. The biggest problem is that the backlash is about forcing old rules and values and just traditional ways onto the public. You know, it's generally paired with religious beliefs. And much of the public refuses to go back to older ways. The other focused on the past. So we apparently have to choose a side. Support oppressive old rules or support oppressive new rules. I don't, and I won't. I think people should be free to live according to whatever rules they want as long as it's legal. If people want to be in a traditional relationship and have a traditional family, then have at it. If people want a poly-furry triad, have at it. If you don't like what public schools are teaching, then take your kids to private schools or homeschool them. Because significantly trying to fight back against what's being taught will get you labeled as a terrorist, especially if you show significant anger about it. Perhaps these new ways we're supposed to look at everything is part of a globalist effort. I know there's a lot of people who believe that sort of thing. I just feel that the fight against globalism is futile. I don't support globalism, but I also accept that it's the future, or it's likely the future. I mean... If something can break that, I mean, hey, that'd be cool, but then again, some of the things that could break that could end up being a very oppressed form of living. I mean, if a bunch of countries just go full-on nationalist, what's that going to do? Anyway, thanks for watching.